when I left school, um, I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I remember one day I was uh, in a car with a friend of mine and he was working at his own creative agency at that time. And he just asked me randomly if I wanted to take over all of his photography jobs. Um, and this was such a bizarre question at the moment because I had no idea of photography at all and he knew that. Um, so at first I, I didn't want to do it at all, but he kind of talked me into it and showed me all the basics and gave me his camera and yeah, I started to photograph events for him. And I think, yeah, that's where it all kind of started. And looking back at it now, um, it's, it's super crazy how everything just happened like that and started to un unfold in, in some sort of way. Yeah, back then I, I could have never imagined to, to work as a serious uh, photographer or a real photographer. To be honest, I think I've never searched, actively searched for a creative outlet. Um, but it kind of happened to me in, in, in that way. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I also started to make videos a couple of years ago. Um, I think it's super refreshing to, to switch between photography and videography um, from time to time. Um, but I think in general, I see myself more as a photographer than anything else. Yeah. I think it's always hard to see your own work um, objectively. But I think um, I have a kind of free um, approach when it comes to, to photography. I don't really try to force things or give as little direction as possible um, to, to, to kind of letting the things happen naturally. And um, yeah, that's something I, I, I think um, my work is, is very collaborative. So I think it um, depends on who, whom I'm working with. Um, but I'd like, to, I'd like to think that there is a certain kind of aesthetic in all the things I do. I think this one is quite hard to answer, but um, something that inspired me um, a lot lately is um, the Polaroid book by Linda McCartney. Um, it includes a lot of very uh, personal and intimate uh, photos of her and it kind of um, reminds me of um, of the family photo albums of, or, or, or my family photo albums. And I'm in general very fascinated by, by those because these photos are always so pure and, and, and um, natural and, and uh, authentic. Um, and I think when you when you um, taking photos of the people um, close to you, it's always a very special thing because they um, they will open up uh, for you in a in a very um, special way, and yeah, that's what I really like about photography that um, you can document uh, the 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 life of the people who are close to you, and in in that way also document your own life. Um, and I think it's a it's a nice thought. Um, to, to be able to look back at all those um, things in a couple of decades and being reminded of how it all felt at that time. Um, yeah, that's something I, I really like. So I think every photographer or most photographers would say that it doesn't really matter what you're shooting with as long as the motive is great. And I totally agree with that. Um, I also think, I know this sounds super cliche, 
and cheesy, but um, I think the mood of the moment also kind of translates into the photo. And I th when I look back at, at shootings that were fun and um, where we had a good conversation going on while taking the pictures, um, I was always super happy with how the, the photos turned out. So it may sound a little bit cliche, but yeah, I think um, it's true in my case. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying a lot of different kind of cameras since I started to, to shoot film. Um, I also had the Leica M6 TTL for a couple of months. Um, it's such a legendary camera and I think when you start working with it you immediately know why. <laughs> As it, it, it feels really cool and it feels really good to work with it but after a couple of weeks I unfortunately recognized that um, the rangefinder system is not, has not worked out for me that well, I guess. Um, so I, I switched um, to the Leica R system and um, got the Leica R8, which I'm uh, still currently using. And I'm super um, happy with, with, uh, with the camera in general. I think when it comes to the look of my images or my kind of taste in photography in general, um, I don't want my photos to look technically too perfect. Um, it's quite good to have um, super sharp um, lenses and uh, all those kind of camera specs everyone is talking about. Um, but what I like um, about the Leica R lenses, especially the, the, the older uh, ones, is that you get the Leica quality and um, the Leica characteristics uh, in, in that lenses, but they also come with a little um, imperfection sometimes. And I think um, when you combine the Leica quality with, or, or the Leica characteristics with these in, little imperfections, um, it creates a very um, spontaneous and, and natural look. And that's something I, I really try to um, create with all of my images. So lately um, I've been working a lot with other artists from various branches and um, something that I learned and um, that I think is super interesting and inspiring is to see the parallels between um, all different kind of art forms. Um, for example, um, a lot of my, my musician friends, um, when I, when I um, hear them talk about their um, process of working, um, I see a lot of similarities to the way I work. Um, and we also kind of face the same uh, problems or difficulties while, while creating our work. And I think um, that's, that's especially cool because that means that we can also learn from each other. And um, although you might think that our jobs are entirely different and couldn't be more different in a way, but um, yeah, that's something that I think is very cool and inspiring. The series Villa Lala um, doesn't really end with these photos. Um, it's more uh, the project Villa Lala is a very big project for me and it rather describes um, my collaborative work with other artists and that's something I, I'm continuously um, doing. But um, Villa Lala is uh, the name of a creative hub in Vienna founded by um, uh, some of my closest friends and um, yeah, for me it's a super inspiring place and um, it's the place where a lot of us met for the first time and starting uh, to exchange ideas and starting to collaborate with each other and since collaboration is such a big part of my work, um, yeah, this place is really, really, really inspiring for me and um, that's why I named the series Villa Lala. I really like the way she captures her images. Um, 
all of her photos have a really natural and uh, spontaneous look um, and that's what I like uh, that's what I like a lot it's uh, it's also something that I I'm trying to pursue in my own images as well um, I also think that it's nice to see the colors in her images um, I think don't get me wrong I like black and white photos I also shoot a lot of black and white myself but um, in her photos, um, probably because there are, there is a lot of, uh, they, they are a lot emotional, I guess. Um, I think it's beautiful to, to, to see the colors and I think the colors add a lot of, um, add, add, add a lot of emotion to the, to, to the certain kind of mood in her photos. And yeah, I really, really think um, her work is great. I'm working a lot with um, other artists and um, I think this collaborative um, work is something that I'm, uh, I will do continuously. Um, but some of the, the projects I'm, I'm working on now include um, music videos or um, cover artworks or right now I'm working with um, a couple of dancers um, in, in various projects and that's something I'm, I'm very interested in at the moment um, because I really like to work with artists from, from branches I'm less familiar with. I think this is, uh, this is super interesting.